Rotterdam, determined to do whatever it took to succeed and seeking out powerful figures in the music world. When I first met Mark, I just said he was gay. He knew how to use older men in a way which, you know, to, to gain inference from them. In TV and radio, there was always that kind of gay set. And if they were there to help you, you would, you know, you might pucker up and look like you're ready for action. He came to my flat one evening, he played all his songs, we went to the studio to record them because I was so impressed with them. We then had dinner, we then came home and he went to bed with me. Uh, that's what people did in the sixties if they fancied each other, and he obviously fancied me and I obviously fancied him. It wasn't an affair, it was just a good quick sixties shag. But I'm sure he did that with a lot of people if, they thought, if he thought they were useful. With Napier Bell as his manager, Bolan joined the anarchic rock band John's Children. But after failing to find success, he decided to target the hippie market, forming the acoustic duo Tyrannosaurus Rex in 1967. It was the best thing he could have done because they really did make a big noise for two people. Even though Mark wasn't a true hippie, he, he was still, you know, he was of the generation. He understood it. It was a clever move, whether it, he did it just to get into that scene, I don't know. You could never say Mark was fraudulent about his hippie image, because Mark was fraudulent about everything, if that's what you were going to say. He just did what was required at the moment and enjoyed doing it. But building up a cult following wasn't enough. After three years, he was getting impatient for mainstream stardom. In 1970, he renamed the band T-Rex, switched their sound from acoustic to electric, and set his sights on the huge teen market. The tactic worked, and Mark Bolan was finally a star. She ain't a witch, and I love the way she twitch, uh -huh. When Mark heard uh, accusations that he had sold out, when he picked up an electric guitar and he had a, a, a big hit, I think he was over the moon about that, because this is exactly what happened to Bob Dylan. He actually counted $50,000 at the bank on the table, and he said, and that's when he realized, oh, I made it. The world did change for all of us. Uh, suddenly, we're taking limos to the recording sessions, and uh, uh, we're staying in good hotels, and uh, my life changed, and so, certainly so did, so did his. Over the next two years, T-Rex enjoyed a record-breaking run of eight massive hit singles, and at one point were selling 100,000 records a day. The papers dubbed it t rex to sing They were a band who generated hysteria. You couldn't hear the music, you just heard the screams. It was incredibly exciting seeing Mark Boland for the first time, because he was quite, quite beautiful. I mean, girls would die for the hurt. He put the fun back in rock and roll. In the late 60s, it was very hicking, very heavy, and he put the screamers back in. It was like the beat was all over again. I think we needed a bit of glam, and he was it. Rock and roll is, is magic. I mean, uh, the elements are magic. Uh, what is magic is the power of the human being to relate to another human being. But his success wasn't just about the songs. Bolan had invented a whole new look. As far as Glenn Rock is concerned, Mark basically was the instigator. I can remember he put that little bit of glitter and a teardrop on his cheek and maybe an ostrich feather or two around his neck. And I think it kind of took people back a bit. And for someone like Mark to take women's clothing and really sort of sex themselves up or trash themselves out to such a degree, it really sort of challenged the idea of masculinity. That was the worrying thing, because you kind of did fancy him being this feminine looking guy. The voice and the image were winning fans around the world, but t rex was soon to become t rex -ess. It took about a year to get corrupt. 
It was only in that second year when finally the groupie started really appearing. Uh, life got a little sleazier. I mean, cocaine started to appear. The, the fame destroyed Mark. He started to believe in all the hype and lost all the reality. Ah! 